We're going to quickly apply a quick preset just to give it a color. I'm going to go ahead and brighten the image, go ahead and up the vibration and the saturation, and then just to add that pop of dodge and burn, I'm going to simply click here, and there you go. All done. Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography. It's great to see you again. This week I'm actually doing some traveling, so I'm bringing this video to you from the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia, but I still wanted to get a video done and what better way than a way to really make your images pop. So don't forget, quickly hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into the video. All right, so here we go. As you saw in the very beginning, we did this quick little demonstration. It is very fast, but we're going to build it for you. So then you can save it as a preset and apply it to all of your images. So let's go ahead and first reset the image. And then we're going to simply take, just to give the image some color, we're gonna take it and we're gonna apply the Summer Breeze preset from my Exploring Preset Pack. We're gonna raise the exposure and we're going to increase the saturation and the vibrance just to give it some more color. So just by that simple action, we have before and after. Now, a really good way to dodge and burn your image, and if you don't know what dodging and burning is, it's simply brightening the brights, or dodging, and darkening the darks, which is darkening. And it's a technique that has been around since film photography. So with the new digital age, you can do that so much faster and so much easier. And in Lightroom, with the new masking updates, it's even better. So here's what we're gonna do. Quick, uh, click the mask, or you can press Shift W on your keyboard. And you'll notice I'm doing this outside holding my computer. That's how easy it is because I don't have a desk right now. I wanted to do this outside. So then we're gonna go to range. We're gonna click, click luminance range. And we're going to use this slider. Over here is the brights or the whites and over here are the darks and the blacks. This slider affects where your adjustment is. So you see this big old box. If you click this little box here, you can slide it over to the whites and a little bit of the highlights the arrow adjusts the feather or the fall off of the effect. Now be careful with this one because if you do it as a quick cut, it'll make it look grainy and kind of pixelated, which doesn't look good. So give it a good amount of feather. I would say about there is good. And then what we're gonna do is just increase the exposure just a shade, not too much because you can overdo this. This is a subtle cap to your image. It just gives it that little extra oomph to make it pop off the screen. It is not a full edit and it shouldn't overdo the image. It should just give it a little bit more contrast. All right, so once we do that, I'm gonna double click on mask one and we're gonna rename it to dodge. Then we're gonna to go to create mask, go to luminance range. We're gonna do the same thing, but the other way, click the little square, slide it over to the blacks and the shadows and then adjust the feather a little bit and then just go ahead and adjust the exposure down a little. Now let me adjust this so I can actually see what I'm doing because it is still bright out here. Adjust that a little. Okay, good. And we'll rename that to burn. Good. And here is the before and here is the after. Now again, it's subtle. That's what you want. And once you finish that, go ahead and click out of the masks. We're going to save this for later. I'm gonna go up to develop, go to new preset, Make sure all of this is unchecked. So you can literally click check none and then go up here, click do uh, burn and dodge. We're gonna rename this dodge and burn. Put it in our mask presets. You can put it in whatever file folder you want or you can go ahead and create your own. Just click new group. Once you have it all set, press create and you are all set. You have your dodge and burn masking. Now, let's say you have a photo that already has some masks on it. Let's do this. Let's reset it. Go ahead and apply the preset and let's just do some quick masks here. I'm not gonna do too many, just we want the background. Good, let's just do that. Okay, good, now we have a couple of masks. What happens when you try and apply this new preset? Well, let's go over here to our dodge and burn mask presets, click it and boom, it applies it right to it. So we'll go to our masks and there we go. We have our dodge and burn presets. No other adjustments were made and boom, we are all set. So this is the easiest way to dodge and burn your presets. And once you've applied it, simply go into it, click them and you can make adjustments. 
and more than likely you will have to make these tweaks on every image because each image's lights and darks are gonna be totally different. So you will have to tweak them a little, but this gets you immediately applied to the image and gets your dodge and burn done that much faster. And that's it for this video. So hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I put some goodies in the description of the video, so make sure to go check them out. And if you have any questions, obviously comment. But I'm gonna get back to my trip here. So YouTube recommends you go watch this video. I personally recommend you go watch this video. And if you wanna subscribe, click there. I'll see you in the next video.